Morning. I've added a bit of uh, shadow to this side of the path with the light coming that way. So I said I'd show it to you before I carry on with the next the next video. So I hope it, it uh, just shows up okay. Right, I'm still still in the mood to paint uh, moorland and uh, heathland. I'll put that one aside. Put another piece of paper here and put that on. Really most of these are just exercises in, in trying to paint simply and making paintings out of complicated photographs. So here we are, we've got the uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, uh, alizarin crimson light, red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey and burnt sienna. Uh, Fabian 130 pound. Now, I bought some, some brushes, they're not uh, Frank, uh, Frank, Frank Clark, Frank, the Irish uh, demonstrator and I didn't buy his set of brushes, I probably will for some stage, but I wanted the, the inch but I bought these, they were less than five pounds including postage, I knew they were going to be cheap and cheerful. This, this is the, the inch, it's a bit sparse with its hairs. I've just trimmed the top with so there's a bit straggly so so I just carefully just trimmed off the the little hairy things. I just got a three inch one and this two inch one. So use that well I'm not going to use that one but I I'm going to use the two inch hay. So we'll with the colours that we've got, we'll, and the wet in wet process, let's, no, this is the first time I've used this brush, so we'll see what happens to it. It's not going to carry the amount of water that the, the other one does, and it probably is going to annoy me and I'll revert back to the original one, but let's give it a little go anyway and see what happens. I got a, a couple of private messages over the weekend, I don't know private, but somebody watching some of the acrylic demonstrations and they weren't quite sure what, what I was using for diluting the paint. Well, I, I used whatever was at hand. I used PVA glue, which is the woodworking glue, and I dilute it, it's quite thick. You could use Unibond, which is a builder's version and thin it down a little bit. You can glaze with it, you can you, you can varnish with it. And I had a tin of varnish handy left over from a job I did in my shower room. It's all wood and I just painted it and the tin was very inexpensive and there was so much left over. I used that as a glaze and a, and a varnish and as a medium to thin the paint. So I, I, so a friend told me about, about using PVA glue because PVA, the binder of PVA glue or varnish, PVA varnish or acrylic varnish, it's the same binder that is in the, in the pigments. And if you want to spend lots of money on artist quality, extenders, gloss mediums, varnishes, all sorts of things, fine, go away, go, go, go ahead and do so. But the PVA wood glue, and I'll show you, I put this online, long time ago, I just used this. But I haven't done the acrylics for two or three months. But no, joinery adhesive, water resistant, is PVA glue. And if you use emulsion paint, which you paint your walls with, that's PVA as well. And so, I mean, it's, water, it's water soluble when it's wet, but when it's dry, it's waterproof. And you could, you could use that as a glue, but you wouldn't like the colour. Right, I'll go back to that. I'll just give it another way. It's raining today, quite showery. So much for our English summer, then the wheel, the water's disappearing. It? It's soaked in. Right, let's uh, get a bit of 
bit of raw sienna. Let's try a bit of a snow scene here. Let's see what happens to, to this brush. I don't think I'm going to like this brush. So look how it's, it's clumped. Look. Oops. Uh, well, so far so good. I see, uh, I don't know, it did a tribute painting to me. <laughs> Using his uh, household brushes. Very nice too. You can use whatever makes a mark. Each painter's brushes, decorator's brushes. Especially when it's wet. I don't think he did it wet. But, uh, anyway, so a bit of, bit of blue. He's had a bit of blue. Could be a tribute to Alan Owen's tribute to me, couldn't it? For those of you that haven't watched Alan, he's got loads of videos on profound simplicity, keeping things simple. Lovely man, great demonstrator. Now we'll put some in the on the snow. I'm going to do a bit of a snow scene here. Okay, clean the brush. Right. What will happen now is that the paper will soak up the water, and as it does so, it will expand and re reclip it. And I want to put a bit of, bit of cloud in there. So just a mixture of the light red. Oh, the other question was, uh, uh, what, what uh, the chap could get um, light red? Well, light red is no, uh, has other names. Uh, I think it's also called Venetian red. It depends who's manufacturing it, or who owns what company owns the copyright to the the actual name. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an iron oxide as far as I remember, but with, with acrylic I, I use whatever is available. I'll just put a little bit of a shadow under one of those. It's very streaky. Right. So I want a bit of a, a bit of a distance now. Same colours, bit of yellow oak, yeah, raw sienna. So the, the, the reason I use Windsor and Newton Cotton colours, because well, I've always used them, that's a good enough reason, but I like the burnt sienna, I use a lot of burnt sienna, and it's darker than the round wood version. Same with the oil, the student oil colours. So that's the only reason, nothing to do with quality or anything. It's just what you, what you like and what you get used to. In acrylic, I use all sorts of colours. I've got this Reeves acrylic. I've got Liquitex acrylic, burnt sienna. I've got this Galleria, which I think is Winter and Newton acrylic black. That's my I use for the line and wash now. I've got uh, System Free Ultramarine. They're inexpensive and they're good paints. Oh, oh dear. Right. Okay. So we'll, we'll put in a, a, a back, background, a bit of, bit of blue. Okay. Um, I, I don't want a high horizon, so let's just, just, oh, it's all stipples this one, isn't it? Quite good. I can't get the, the bristles together very easily. But this is my, no, I don't think we're going to be very good friends with this brush and me. Put a bit of a bit of lemon yellow in there. Just put in fields in the distance. Uh, you have to show some you leave a bit of, bit of light and we'll put in some heavy stuff now, some burnt sienna and some ultramarine, a bit of Payne's grey maybe just to help it along a bit. Uh, just dub in sort of distant fields to 
trees. Ah, I don't know this. Another five pound wasted. Well, no, he'll, he'll do other things. It's just we're just not going to be happy doing the fine edges that the ordinary or the extraordinary Rob Manson make does. So now a bit, bit of lighter green. Going up here a bit, it doesn't matter. Right, okay, as we come to the to the uh, to the middle distance we can put in some some different greens, warm colours. I'll go over all this, this is just background. But we want some warm as we're coming into the the foreground. We'll see more and more of the snow. Dark in there. Some dark in there now. You want uh, nice darks as well, greeny darks. Now I must show for all you cat lovers that, that, that like enjoy Freddy. This Elsa come up to see me. There she is. She's looking for Freddy, our pussy cat, who got killed by Carl a month ago. And she's such a lovely. Hey Elsa. She's beautiful. She looks around the garden for Freddy. She's just clawing at these carpet floor tiles. So uh, let's zoom in a bit. There she is. Give me. Lovely, lovely animal. Hope she doesn't get run over. See what's happened, there's a, a church nearby, the parish church is having, having a lot of money spent on it at the moment. And they're re rebuilding a wall that's adjacent to the main road. And they've suspended the, uh, the footpath while they do the work, so it's all sort of the traffic's one, one uh, what they call tidal. Right, let's go back to the uh, to there. And so, a lot, a lot of cars, rather than waiting the queue for the traffic lights, are using my road as a cut through. So, that's that hastened the demise of Freddie, I'm afraid. We miss him very much. But we will, we will be getting another kitchen so that Elsa can teach the uh, the ropes too. So they are interesting marks that this brush makes. She's not here, Elsa. So as she comes in, wanders around, look for Freddy. They had such fun for five months chasing each other and going off together. Oh, I'm just putting in these... Actually, this brush might be okay. So we... we... Oh, let's get some dark, some greens in there as well. So, a bit of lemon yellow mixed in with the... Uh, the burnt sienna and the Payne's grey.
I'm not going to be able to do this one, what I could do with the, the romance and hike. Now we're getting some nice warms here. But nice, nice stippery soft so it's good. It's, it's not all disaster, is it? It's got this sort of, it's like a, no path, it's just a, a way through, through the heathland. There's some darks in there. You do a lot of plain square in this, to get the contrast between the lights and the dark. Push, push to your brush. Just be careful of the amount of water that's going in in this. But I want to do some some lifting out. Just bits of grass showing through. Get some nice greens in here now. Could do some detail on, on this. Put in some some sparse silver birches or whatever. Use a card just to scrape out that bit more positively there. Uh, well, I can do some stuff with the, the rigger. No, it's, it's, it's not bad price for stippering. I got off. I got them offline. The Langnickel trademark. I just uh, dialed in or googled uh, or on eBay uh, uh, goat hair flat flats. A little bit more warm. Can add a bit of red with that as well, I think. Just to warm up the foreground here and this undulating ground. I can put some reflection of the blues in here in a minute but I want to get this these trees sort of some trees to frame the picture that's very experimental this one but I'm quite liking this this aspect of it but I don't want that to compete with this one I want this to be bigger and nearer 
but I want to put in some, some good evergreen, gorse, that sort of stuff. Right, let's uh, put it here, counter change it against, against that tree there. Okay, I don't know what this is going to look like on, on the screen, but so let's just put something here just to frame that and stop it. Right, now we need to do some, some rigour stuff. I'll just clean the brush. With the rigger, we'll uh, put it in Payne's Grey and Sienna and Sienna. Will you rest your hand or your little finger knuckle on your painting, make sure you, you haven't got any paint on your knuckle, otherwise you'll end up in the sky. And I, I'm just telling you that because I do it constantly. And they end up as uh, birds. Need to put in some. It's just a bit too too busy here, so let's just. Just stiffen up some of that. Let's get some blue. Just to reflect a bit of the, the sky. So that just is a the, the the winter landscape just just showing reflecting the colours of the sky a bit more detail in the foreground so just using the Payne's grey and the burnt sienna which is a lovely warm dark. Up here. The uh, rigors don't have, hold a lot of water. Well, not three and below, but so you remember that. Let's uh, put a figure in there. Let's use a bit of black and blue if I can, if it'll show up. A bit of red. Probably will show uh, 
Um, I'm going to put him in dark because he won't show otherwise. I'm going to put him to the little Right. Put his head on. Of the show. Right, I, I, I'm not going to do much more than that. He looks a little bit. Uh, Pass across the shoulders, so that's a okay. Well, that's going to do. I don't know what you're going to think of this, but. Experimental. Put a couple of birds in. Just for... See, well, I've got that on my knuckle. Right. Okay. Let's put that in a mount. I wouldn't say it's a very good painting, but it is a Monday morning after all. Around it, he's a bit bit muddy. I, I I don't want to open my tube of uh, acrylic wire, but I suppose I could really, couldn't I? No, I've got. Well, it's not acrylic. No, it's not acrylic. It's gouache, white gouache that I bought last week. I need a fiver. Right, let's use a fine rigger and I can dilute it for a bit too much. Oh, that's the volume, I've just overdone the water a little bit. Right, just a bit more. The, the binder was at the top of the tube, some of the binder was at the top of the tube. I'll um, put a little bit of bit of uh, raw sienna, but don't mix your gouache up with your pure watercolour. Even the burnt sienna would be good with this. Let's just put some out here. I don't want it to be. White, but I'll just put a little bit of a, a, a tint. Alright, let's just. Put, put a bit of face on in there. Right, that'll do, that'll do. Uh, 
Well, it hit and miss, wasn't it? Let's. Uh, Oh, I don't know, that looks alright on, on, on the screen, let's see what you think. Let's, uh, I'll bring you around, and then we'll go in and have a look at the elements of the picture. Right, so there's my background. It's very, very spiky because of the brush. But look at the stipple on that. That's pretty good, isn't it? And a larger one over there, and I framed it with some darker some darker gorse but I suppose we could put in some even put in some buildings in there let's have a go let's put in some white buildings now I've got the uh, the grass you know, now I've got plenty of dark in the background so we can we can put in just a bit of bit of a church spire or something I don't know Just a bit of a little bit of a bit of a hamlet. Right, that'll do, that will do. Let's not poke and prod it to death. But great danger, isn't it, with painting? It's alright with, with acrylic and oil, you can fiddle to the arse and ten, but with watercolour you can so easily overdo it. I just wanted the, to, to capture the bleakness of a winter scene on Heathland. Right, let's come out and have a. Have a look at it. Right. right, well there we are. We could call that Headley Heath. It's a heath that's uh, probably seven or eight miles from here, if that. Um, which heath? Could be anywhere really. Have a go at these sorts of views. They're quite easy, but they're quite easy to overdo. They're always a, a, a big problem. Don't be frightened of putting darks in, because if you want something to look lighter, put it against something dark. So here we've got like a sweep into the, well, across there really. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye.